not here threatening you. I don't want that to happen. That's the plan to wipe both sides out starting this civil war. And let me tell you, their wartime training, just like when they're going back into jungle warfare, they paint the tanks green two years before they've already got it planned. Or they're going to the desert, they paint the tanks tan two years before. They, they have been painting the trucks black for domestic war, the tanks black for domestic war. They have been training publicly to take on gun owners during martial law. And they're coming just as sure as the sun's coming up tomorrow, unless we run around like chickens with our heads cut off. And I'm just getting adrenaline rushes right now, folks. I mean, just like I was, you know, in a parking lot and some guy's trying to mug me and I get that feeling. I mean, this is, I, I just, I, it's all real. It's all happening. I'm pulsing with adrenaline and electricity right now because this is what they're going to do. We've got to stop them because they're going to use the Civil War as the false flag to bring the country down just as sure as the sun comes up and geese fly south for the winter. They want to take this country down. They've got a score to settle with us. Look what came out in the Weatherman trials, how they were going to put 50 million conservatives, men, in forced labor camps and then kill 25 million of us. The numbers they'll have to kill now from 1970s numbers are over 75 million. They are going to rape your wives. People are going, oh, this is going to watch, watch. You've seen everything else happen. They've got a score to settle. Do you have Obama's domestic security force, please? Go ahead and play Obama when he was campaigning. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. Folks, it happens in every other nation in history. It's happening here. If we don't wake up to the nightmare and admit it's happening, they will win. They will stage the events. Here's the good news. The entire military, I would say upwards of 85%, are somewhat awake now. Almost the entire military. It's, it's an incredible conversion to reality because they're being given the treason training. Because we warn people up front and you warn people and Oath Keepers and countless others for decades. Ron Paul, you name it. John Burt Society, you name it. About the creeping buildup. Clinton wanted to do this stuff. Because we did that, now we're catching them with their pants down, not us. We're not sitting here flat-footed. We're dug in. We've bought 200 million guns the last 20 years. Everybody's ready. And we're politically fighting hard to fix this country. We're doing everything we can. We're not starting anything offensively. We're just sitting here trying to do our best. As, and our duty as Americans is good people to be honorable and protect our families. And it isn't like we're just starting to fight with a bunch of socialists and, you know, not going along with them, which is our right. These are horrible, nasty communists run by foreign banks that have a vendetta against this republic. They want to have their way with us so bad, folks. We're in so much danger right now. Homeland Security is the domestic army to do this. And, and they've got the, the throngs of their followers. You've heard them in Austin and L.A. and other places say they want to put all gun, uh, gun owners in camps. They will man those camps with pot-bellied jail guard socialists who will literally stomp our guts out. We don't have a choice. We've got to work as hard as we can to try to fix this before they start pulling triggers. And once they pull triggers, folks, we got to go info war 110% and defend ourselves. But remember... Remember police and military. When they shoot up your convoys and blow up daycare centers and the rest of it up front, that is not the liberty movement doing that. Don't be stupid and run out and find the first patriots you can to shoot up in their house and burn down. Because you do that, the next wave's coming in, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, then the gloves are off and you know what's going to happen. The former military people have already been casing their neighborhoods and have already been creating files, and you know that, and you know what's going to happen to you. You do that, you don't do the right thing, you know what's going to happen. You're going to get smashed bad. And I don't want that to happen. I want you to wake up, look at the intelligence information, and join the republic. Join 1776 in the spirit of George Washington. Don't join the spirit of Obama and George Soros. Ask which side you're on right now. Because they're training in every manual to kill anti-socialists during martial law. Now, here's the new Homeland Security Manual we got. It's up on Infowars.com. 
Homeland Security exercise targets free Americans against socialist tyranny. Leaked documents reveal plan to counter online dissent during martial law. Leaked Homeland Security documents obtained by InfoWars reveal details of joint DHS-FEMA national exercise set to take place this week, one of the components of which revolves around an effort to counter online dissent by a group called Free Americans Against Socialist Tyranny. What a horrible group, Free Americans Against Socialist Tyranny. I can't think of anything worse, can you? Which, I mean, which is disgruntled at the imposition of martial law after an earthquake in Alaska. Uh-huh. The document again underscores the federal government's obsession with characterizing libertarians and conservatives as some kind of extremist radical threat. Well, we're like antibiotics, a threat to a deadly bacteria. We are a threat. Bacteria wants to kill us. I mean, <laughs> you think the Jedi were a threat to the Sith? I mean, it's just, I mean, it's real simple. The document, PDF, was leaked by an individual affiliated with Stuart Rhodes' organization, Oath Keepers, and passed to InfoWars. It's entitled National Exercise Program Catastrophe Exercise 2014. Yeah, he needs to add the previous national level exercises. How can you save a... All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, back to the folks that really are super bad, but not in a bad, good way, in a bad, bad way. It goes on, the document is intended for U.S. Department of Homeland Security trusted agents only, trusted traders only. I mean, anybody that gets given this stuff about where they're training to fight conservatives during martial law, I mean, you should realize this is a takeover group. Well, I'm just going to go along with it and keep my pension. They're, you're not going to keep your pension, dummy. That's why they're bringing tyranny in. Liberty produces prosperity. Tyranny produces third world garbage. I'm going to try to explain that again to you guys. Sometimes I'll be out in public or at the gym or something. I'll see some guy going, <laughs> give me the right looks. And I'll go over and I'll go, you're a fed, aren't you? What's it to you, Jones? Now, it's not always like that. A lot of them feds come over like, oh, we, we, a lot of us are awake and know what's going on. But immediately, you can see the guy was like a little kid, and his dad was a cop, and he thinks he's a secret agent and on a power trip, and he's a good guy, and you're a bad guy. And, and, and I mean, you just see it. They're childlike minds. I can pick them out of a crowd. It's so pathetic. The trusted agent types. Trusted turd is your real name. George Washington would literally tell you, get away from him. I mean, you are, you are so traitorous trying to take on veterans and gun owners. You are so evil. But you're nothing compared to the people that pull your strings, like Eric Holder, the mobster, the guy that ships guns into Mexico to false flag the Second Amendment. You notice we're blowing every one of your operations. Boston bombing, Fast and Furious, Solyndra, Benghazi, because there's good people in every agency, especially the Pentagon. And it's game over because you can't stop them and they know how to leak information. We already have your whole game plan anyways. I don't even need the information. I know your entire battle plan, the different operations you've got. I know that you don't know when you're going to get orders to do what. That's the only reason I don't know everything is because you don't know what you're going to do. Because we've got you off balance and we're going to continue to do that. You think you're going to gut the republic this easily? Never. You think all of us are cowards that will roll over? We love a good fight. Let's continue here. The document is intended for U.S. This is a quote. U.S. Department of Homeland Security trusted agents only, close quote. And is, quote, disseminated only on a need-to-know basis. Even the role players involved in the exercise itself are prohibited from seeing the files. <laughs> and it goes over it how they're going to fight people physically, but also online, who are trying to speak out against the socialist takeover of America. I'm actually reading from the document. On page 125 of the document, a scenario is outlined whereby a group calling itself Free Americans Against Socialist Tyranny responds to the U.S. Northern Command mission of defense support, that's gun confiscation, to civilian authorities, or the imposition of martial law by launching a protest campaign on social media and potentially engaging in cyber attacks. They consider free speech a cyber attack. Don't worry, NORTHCOM swings in, and then it goes into talking about Northern Command and the civil authorities dealing with the troublemakers. All right, folks, training for treason. Second hour, a ton of other news. Your phone calls straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones.
Thank you for listening. Get the article. It's on Infowars.com. Get it. 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 Get it out. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.